we're in LA shooting the promo shoot for Marriage Bootcamp. I think reality stars are crazy, and I think that it's probably a good thing for them to go do. But technically, aren't we still doing reality if we're in Marriage Bootcamp? So we're still doing reality when we're reality stars, right? We decided to come on this show because of lack of communication skills, trying to get that honeymoon stage back. We decided to do the show, I think, basically because we have a slew of problems. <laughs> slew? <laughs> what can we expect from this season of Marriage Boot Camp? Um, grown men crying. Yeah. <laughs> I cry cries ugly. He cries yeah. ugly, too. Like a 12-year-old schoolgirl on a regular a basis. What I learned about my partner is you have to ask the right questions if you want to find out he's dating someone. Otherwise, it may not come out in a lot of the test. It's funny because we knew our problems. It's the fact that we're so stubborn, we don't want to deal with them. I really want the party for Jay Wow. I really did. Yeah, we, we, we I really we, want we, the party with her. What this show has to deal with, God forbid if anything happens to your significant other. There I was in another room, minding my own damn business, and I get called into a room to find out my husband is dead. I'm like, oh, really? And I didn't kill him? Oh, hell no. Those experiences are perspective, the perspective about your relationship and things that sometimes we take for granted that we don't always focus on. I have advice to everybody out there. Do what you have to do. Life is short, honey. Live it up. <laughs>